Hello students, this is Mrs. Williams from Legacy High with another lesson for our Algebraic Reasoning class. We are going to be studying arithmetic and geometric sequences. Here are the notes. You should find a copy of the notes in Canvas. For starters, a sequence is a set. Let's make sure we have a pen that writes. Is a set of numbers that are listed in order and follow a particular pattern. So if there's no pattern, you don't have a sequence. If they're not in order, then you have no sequence. Hence, it's a set of numbers. Number one, the arithmetic sequence. A sequence that has a constant add in or a constant difference. Okay, between the consecutive terms. And consecutive is one right after another. Geometric, a sequence that has a constant multiplier. or a common ratio between consecutive terms, one right after the other. So let's look at a few examples. Describe the pattern of each sequence, then name the next two terms. So the first thing we want to do is we want to check to see if it's arithmetic. So I am going to look at the first term, it's 15, the second one is 20. It looks like we went up by 5. Let me check again. I go from 20 to 25. I also went up by 5. So I am adding 5 each time in this sequence. So to find the next two, I simply need to add 5. 30 plus 5 gives me 35, and 35 plus 5 gives me 40. Those are the next two terms. Now, I want to look at the next one. This one is decreasing, whereas this one was increasing. So this sequence is going down. It looks like it's going down by 6. The numbers are getting smaller, and they're going further down to the left on the number line. So what we're doing is we're subtracting 6 each time, okay, or adding a negative 6. So if I go further down the number line, my next terms would be negative 32 and negative 38. Okay. Let's look at some more. In this example, let's check. Is it addition or is it subtraction? Well, we're going to go, oops, looks like we're going down by two. Each time. So what I want to do is when I'm here is I'm going to subtract two here. I get negative four. Subtract two again and I get negative six. That's the pattern. Okay. And this next next example, we're coming further up and to the right on the number line. So it looks like what we're doing is we're adding three. 45, 44, 43, 42. So here we are adding 3 each time. So if I add 3 here, I'm at negative 33. I add 3 again, I'm at negative 30. So here we are adding 3 each time. And I did not write on the other ones. On this one, we were adding 5 each time. 
and on this one we were subtract 6 subtracting 6 each time now let's look at a, couple, a few more examples we're going to look at this sequence number one set two well if I do 12 minus 4 I get 8 but if I do 36 minus 12 I get 24 it is not arithmetic or I would get the same number each time so let's try division if I have 12 divided by 4 I get 3 36 divided by 12 I also get 3 okay 108 divided by 36 I get 3 so the common ratio is I am multiplying by 3 so the next three terms will be 300 24 would be the next one and times 3 would be 972 and it continues it's a little busy okay. let's look at this one I have 25 cents then I have 50 cents then I have a dollar then I have two dollars sometimes you can just find the unit and that can kind of help you determine uh, what what's going on as far as what what are you multiplying by I am not adding because if I add a quarter or 25 cents to 50 cents I, I do have 25 cents to 25 cents I do get the 50 but if I add 25 cents again I should be at 75 cents and not at the dollar so we can try division it is not arithmetic We have uh, 50 we get 2 okay we get $1 divided by 50 we get 2 2 divided by 1 we get 2 so I wanted to do the inverse operation and I can do that to determine what I'm multiplying by if you don't readily see it. I'm obviously doubling as I go up. So in this one, we multiply by 2. Okay, So then we would get 4, and then we would get 8 as the next one. Next, on this one, if I do 40 minus 20, I get 20 and 20 minus 10 I get 10 it is not arithmetic but I can divide 40 divided by 20 is um, oh, excuse me we want to do 20 we want to take this number and reference it to the previous so I'm gonna do 20 divided by 40 that gives me one half and I'm gonna do 10 choose set and mark 10 divided by 20 gives me one half 5 divided by 10 also gives me one half so here I am multiplying by one half or I can say I'm dividing by 2 so to continue next I would have 2.5 and then I would have 1.25. Those would be the next two terms in the sequence. Last but not least, we can see that 1 times 10 is 10. 10 times 10 is 100. It cannot be arithmetic because 10 minus 1 would be 9, whereas 100 minus 10 would be 90. So we don't get the same number when I subtract, but I do when I divide. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to say that I multiply by 10. Now, pick friendly numbers. So, set 
go backwards, 10 divided by 1 is 10. 100 divided by 10 is 10. So I'm multiplying by 10. So the next terms will be 1,000, 10,000. Okay, great. Study on that a while. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.